Hey guys, so in today's video, as you can see right in front of me, we are going to be doing a review on the automatic sliding gate system. So as you can see, I have already got it installed and I have actually been using it for about a year now. And I have got to be honest with you, it is working so much better than I thought and expected it to be. And I purchased this on Amazon for under $200. And this is the original seller that had the best price and everything. I will leave the link in the description box so you can check that out. There are a, a couple of other, uh, you know, cloner that sells the same thing for much higher prices. So make sure you check out the one I leave in the description box because they have the best product and the best price. Now, first of all, let me go ahead and demonstrate and show you how this system works. So this is the remotes that come with the uh, sliding gate system. Actually it comes with two of these remotes. To open the gate, all you have to do is press this button once. And it will open automatically just like that. And the rate that it moves is about uh, 43 foot per minute. So that's about under a foot per second. So it takes about 10 or 15 seconds to open my gate fully. Now, once the gate opens fully, it will automatically stop when it hits the threshold to wherever we want it to stop at. So there, as you can see, it automatically stops. And it could pull a gate up to 1,400 pounds. That's 1,400 pounds. And the length of the chain, you can have the length up, up to 40 foot. So it does come with a uh, 20 foot uh, chain worth already so it comes in two different pieces each chain is 10 foot so it comes with two of those so you have enough for a 20 foot gate which is uh how long my gate is this is the complete 20 foot gate right here so let me go further and show you how i actually installed everything here so the hardest part for me honestly was uh drilling these holes right here as you can see before you can uh hammer down these nails here i have to have two holes on this side and another two on this side now I never had any experience with drilling holes or anything like that I am a complete new newbie to this uh, kind of stuff so it took me the longest to drill the four holes and once I got the four holes in it's really super easy and the system stay in place like I said again for about a year now now before I got the four holes down I tried some other things such as these concrete bricks here. Now these are about uh, 30 pounds per piece. So that's like 120 pounds, but it was no match for this gate. The gate was still moving and whatnot whatsoever. So I had no other choice but to uh, figure out a way to drill the four hole. Now the easiest way to drill this four hole after numerous tries that I found the easiest for me was, you know, the drill bit head was breaking and you know melting as I was uh, drilling after about 30 seconds or a minute or so so what I found out is all you have to do is drill for about five seconds and start pouring water down the hole at the same time or you just have a cup of oil like cooking oil and drill for about five or seven seconds and then dip that drill head into the oil let it rest for one or two seconds and it will cool down and then re-drill again so that's how you, uh, you know, avoid the drill bit from uh, breaking or melting like I had because I had to switch out so many drill head because of that simple fact. So drill and have water down there at the same time or drill for a few seconds then dip the drill head into uh, cooking oil and then start drilling for a couple more seconds and then dip it into cooking oil. Just repeat the same process over and over again and you will have a uh, good and clean hole in order for you to screw these down. Now for this, I did not use the, uh, the uh, you know, the uh, screw. I use these little things right here. So what these are, kind of like nails, but you make sure you have to buy one that is specifically for the uh, concrete because uh, that way you can hold uh, everything down. This is the hammer set anchor. So this one is made specifically for concrete. So it is extremely strong again and uh, makes your work a lot easier. So after you got the hole, you simply stick this down there and hammer down this um, nail right here and it will hold the unit in place and it works very well. So on here on the system, this part here is the manual release uh, key. So it comes with two keys in which let's say if the power 
or electricity fails, you can simply put the key in here and turn it and open the gate manually just like how you open it before you had this system. So the next hardest part for me was installing this uh, magnet pieces right here. So there's one magnet piece that you put on each end of the gate. So one on this end and one on uh, this end over here. So what these magnet pieces do is that, you know, once, let's say when you close the gate, when this magnet meets the uh, magnet piece that is uh, in the sliding system unit here, so the magnet is somewhere right here. Once it touch right here, as you can see right now, it automatically sends a signal to the system to disconnect the power that way the gate can stop so that's why it stopped when it hits right here so the magnet is what signals the system to stop and same goes when you close the gate it'll stop exactly when it touches that thing over there because we have the magnet pieces right here so that's the second hardest part for me so we just have to uh, kind of uh, work it and play around with it to how our gate depending on how our gate is and uh, move this thing around to it where it matches the magnet piece right here in the unit system so again like I say the chain they come in two pieces each piece is 10 foot so you do have to connect uh, the two chains of course connecting it was pretty easy all you have to do is take off one of these uh, little guy right here and then connect the uh, two chains by sticking that little piece back in there so and on the ends here as you can see it comes with all everything you need already all this comes with it so you hook one end of the chain just like this on one end of the gate and the other end is all the way on this side of the gate now again everything comes with it already so this piece right here good thing it come with this piece because my gate was over a little over 20 foot so this extends out perfectly and my gate is working perfectly fine so if you have a gate that don't have a uh, rail like i have here already i have to put this rail on there myself the gate works fine without the rail but with the rail you know the gate stay in place very well because with the rail you have this uh wheel right here that will hold the gate in place no matter how far it gets away from the uh system here so before that my gate was working fine but it was kind of moving back and forth a little bit and when that when that happens what happened is the chain right here kind of touches this metal piece and it kind of mess up you know, this piece it doesn't really matter this piece is just a metal piece that hope that covers the chain it's not that important but you know you would want to have this rail on there so once i noticed that this was happening i put the rail on there and it no longer you know further damage it or anything and now it works perfectly fine and now let me go ahead and demonstrate it and close it uh one more time where do i left the remote control oh here it is okay so to close it you hit the same button one more time and it will close and look how uh it automatically closed once this little magnet piece right here matches the magnet pieces on the uh, sliding gate system it will automatically close there as you can see very nicely uh, done and very easily to use so it's really nice once i installed this and you know before that it was a pain in the butt to get out the car every single time to push this thing open could be very tiring sometimes so to uh, connect the uh, power and electricity to it this is what I did I bought this uh, wire which you can buy at anywhere at Lowe's or Home Depot you're gonna have to open this uh, cover right here and opening this cover is pretty easy and you are going to have to open this there's just a screw on this side and another screw on this side once you unscrew the two just kind of lift this up and connect the uh, wire in here you have the you know the white uh, green and uh, red uh, wire I believe but it's pretty simple the user manual teaches you and show you exactly how to connect it and after that I just run the uh, wire all the way into my house underground or you can do it above ground however you like I'm gonna go ahead and open this cover to show you guys exactly how to do it so just unscrew one over here and another screw right over here 
and just raise this up and after you open this to get access to all the wiring and the electrical port you're gonna have to open this port so this port let me put it back well this part to open this there's gonna be four screws one on each corner here 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 and here so when you open these make sure the nuts on the back here uh, let me see, right here these nuts right here make sure you don't lose this nuts it's already come installed in there so when you unscrew it make sure these stay in place or else you will not be able to you know lock this later on and we'll need that nuts to lock up so once you get all four screws then you just kind of slide open like that and the wiring I told you just about earlier is this wire right here so this wire you will have to buy yourself and this is what you run into the house to connect into the uh, outlet so in this wire there's gonna be three different colored wire green red and white the uh, green goes on top white is in the middle and red is at the lower bottom here so just connect it like that this goes right here green on top white in the middle and red at the bottom I kind of took it out so I can show you guys but it's just like that simply put it in here and then there's our like super tiny screws over here once you put this in there you just tighten it and it will hold in place just fine and um, on the other end on the inside of the house you're gonna have to buy a uh, outlet that looks just like any other outlet from Home Depot or Lowe's and then you are gonna do the exact same thing as you did on this side you're gonna put the green uh, with the green white with white and red with red and then just tighten it and plug it into the outlet inside the house and all of these other stuff do not touch you don't need to touch any of that at all this is the only port you should be touching and playing with is connecting the wire to this part here again green on top white middle and red at the bottom once that's done put everything back together and the uh, gate is ready for use also one more thing the manual key opener here it is all you have to do is put the key in here just like any other keys and just turn it upwards and open it now when it's open like this you can manually just pull open the gate or push it open only when it's open like this that you can do that if it's locked like this if it is locked like this you will not be able to push the gate at all because it is locked set in stone and the only way you can open the gate is through using your uh, remote control by pressing the button like we did earlier but uh that is pretty much it guys so the system works extremely well like i say i've been using it for about a year now went through rain storm thunder and everything and it still survived and still works perfectly fine and for the price i have to honestly say it is a definite bargain now again remember this is the main company that makes this so i will leave a link in the description for it make sure you get this one and not the other ones because the others are kind of like copycats and they charge more for it also so again guys i hope the video helped you out make sure you pay close attention to the two hardest things that i had trouble with maybe you are more knowledge about it than me but those are the two things that i had the most difficulty with was drilling the holes and connecting the uh, magnet pieces so other than that it was fairly easy for a complete newbie like myself so again i will leave a link to this product in the description box below guys uh, i hope this video is helpful to you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks guys